Hey guys, uh, I'm Nihar and I'm studying at University of Vishwakshara College of Engineering. Uh, today I'm back with some interesting video. Uh, today I'll be speaking about uh, generative AI. So like what's uh, generative AI basically? So like generative AI uh, refers to a type of artificial intelligence like that can generate content or data on its own uh, without being explicitly, explicitly programmed to do so. Like generative AI uses machine learning uh, to learn patterns from the existing data and then uses uh, that but that knowledge to create uh, like new and original content like it won't be available uh, anywhere on the internet right so like let's see a few applications of uh, generative web basically like i guess everyone must be knowing about this chat gpt right so like uh, it was actually launched during november 2022 so like it has the ability to answer all your questions and then like it can perform tasks like like it can write scripts for you like it can compose emails and like it has ability to finish your own code like so like it, it it has the ability to do many tasks basically. So like let me introduce to you to Microsoft Bing Chat actually. Uh, the, 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 like the main difference between Chat GPT and Microsoft Bing is uh, Microsoft Bing is connected to internet. So like it has the ability to access the current data which is available on the internet and like uh, provide uh, better answers to you. So like uh, let me search like let me, let me ask the Microsoft Bing Chat this question. Who is Dodagatta Nihar? So ask this question who is Dodagata Nihar to Microsoft's Bing chat. So like it's searching for Dodagata Nihar and it has generated this particular answer for me. It says uh, Dodagata Nihar is a student currently pursuing a bachelor's degree in artificial intelligence from the University of Vishweshwara College of Engineering in Bangalore. He is an experienced web developer with a strong portfolio of creating more than 50, uh, 50 websites and is proficient enough in Python and etc etc stuff. So like uh, where does uh, like Microsoft's Bing chat get this information from? So like it, as I said, it's connected to internet. It's able to fetch my data from the LinkedIn and it's able to display the exact answer like what an user asks. So like if I ask this question uh, to Microsoft uh, Bing chat itself, where do you get this information from and what's the workflow behind it? It says, I get my information from the web searches. When you ask me a question, I perform a web search to find the most relevant and up-to-date information on the topic. I then use this information to generate a response to your question. So like as it says, it's connected to internet and uh, it's able to like fetch the exact data and like give the give it as a response to the user. Let me introduce to you about Luca AI. Uh, it uses advanced AI technology to generate custom logo designs uh, based on users' preferences, making it easy for businesses and individuals to create professional looking logos without the need for uh, design expertise. So uh, this is the actual website. It says design your own beautiful brand. Uh, I'll type my company name and, pre and press get started uh, and it says pick your industry so I'll say uh, restaurant restaurant here okay I say restaurant and then press on continue okay it asks to pick some logos okay I'll pick this and this yeah this two are fine I guess I'll press on continue mm and then i'll pick color as green and red maybe Let's see. continue and it says add a slogan and it's optional so i'll say get the best food here the slogan might be hard to retry shortening it but it's fine i'll say continue i'll click on restaurant food and then yeah press continue uh, we'll see what else it's able to generate it says we are generating some logos for you mm. see uh, this uh, particular website has uh, the ability to, to generate logos on its own like uh, based on the uh, like inputs what you and like these are uh, absolutely fantastic i would say so. yes uh, that's what uh, about uh, luca ai you know and yes, uh, to give a conclusion, a generative AI has the potential to generate the trillions of dollars of economic value uh, in coming years. According to a report by Goldman Sachs, it says as many as 300 million jobs could be affected by this generative AI. Uh, according to the data from Glassdoor, uh, the average national salary for an AI engineer in the US dollar is dollar uh, one lakh fifteen thousand. So, like, it's a huge amount, right? And like generative AI market is expected to grow it's AI like with a significant rate uh, in upcoming years and has a lot more future scope. Uh, by adapting it early, we can contribute much to the society and get benefited at the same time. 
uh, by this note i would like to end this youtube video thanks for watching please like share and comment on your thoughts in the comment section and please share the video with your friends thank you once again